All right, so today I am out at an Arboretum. And what I'm doing here is actually playing around with specific lenses. Like right here, this lens that I have on here right now is the uh, Pentax Ashai uh, Super Tacomar 55 F1.7. Now this is radioactive. It's a radioactive lens. And I have actually several radioactive lenses that are supposedly emitting radioactivity. Yeah, so in other words, I don't put it in my pocket. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Now, I have this on my Olympus Pen uh, EP10, which happens to be a micro four thirds. So this 55 is actually a 110 millimeter lens. Um, it's tricky because I'm not used to shooting at that high of a, or that long of a focal length. So I figured if anywhere I'm gonna be able to make it, make it work, it's gonna be at places like this. Um, that is just absolutely gorgeous out. And we'll see what I can do with it. But yeah, seriously, these are radioactive. Uh, the other ones I have with me in my backpack is the, um, what is it? Oh, the Yashinon DS50 F1.7. That one is also radioactive. Um, so what makes them radioactive is actually they're, they're made, the rear element's made with thorium oxide, which emit, from what I understand, emits um, alpha, beta, and gamma radiation from this lens. Um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not a physicist, so uh, I can't really tell you if it's safe or not, but from everything that I'm reading online, it's pretty safe. You get more of those type of radiations, I guess, from walking out your front door. So, yeah, that's today's episode. So, yeah, these look like something mud people would come out and, like, kidnap you and torture you and skin you alive and cook you over fire. But, anyway, I threw the Ashenon DS 50 millimeter onto the uh, Olympus PL10, and it worked well. It, this is pretty much my first, like, true go at using one of these uh, lenses onto the Olympus. And it, I'd say, overall works really well. There is just something really cool about taking old technology like this lens from, gosh, I don't know, the 60s and putting it on to new technology or I'd say late model technology like the Olympus PL10 and just it works and it works fantastic. These lenses are, are great and they're crisp, they're sharp. They may uh, turn you into the Hulk from gamma radiation, but they're still a fantastic lens. I'm going to say overall that the Ashenon is not a bad lens. I'm happy with it. I, I can't complain about it. I think the Super Tacomar is much better. And you're going to see that in a little bit here when I switch lenses. There is some fringing on both these lenses, which is not a big deal. You can simply remove that in post. But just something about the Super Tacomar, it just... I don't know it, it just seems much clearer now it could have simply have been because I got a little bit more used to the focal length being double what I was what I'm used to 
or it's simply the Super Takamar is just that much better of a lens. The Minnesota Arboretum is huge. It's ginam ginormous. And there's so much to do there. There's so much to shoot there that I spent five hours there today and I wasn't driving. I was actually walking it. And I hit probably about a quarter of it. Maybe, maybe closer to half. But there's just so much more that I could have done, but I just didn't have time. It's a couple day thing. And Every time you go back, you can go to the exact same spots and still find other things to photograph. Things that you've never seen before. It's just so much there. So now at this point, I am actually switching over to the Super Tacomar. And I spent a lot more time shooting on the Super Tacomar than I did on the Yashinon. Just because I just felt as I was shooting and kind of reviewing my photos that I liked it so much more. I, I thought the photos were just better overall. Now, again, like I said before, it could just be because I got more used to the, the longer focal length. Or whatnot, I don't know. Maybe I have better subjects to shoot. But I just feel that the Super Takamar is a better quality lens. Okay, so my uh, Action 2 is dead right now, so it's in my backpack charging. So there's going to be a couple shots here that you're going to see that are not, uh, I, there's no POV for them. So, yeah. But like, I'm out here at like a Chinese garden, and it is really cool. So I just want to take a few minutes here and just talk about uh, these lenses. First of all, I probably made a little bit of a mistake by putting it onto uh, a micro four thirds, just because of the, the sheer um, times two crop that you get with a micro four third camera, which kind of sucks. So everything I'm shooting is like way closer than I kind of want. I mean, as you can see, it's like, it's tiny, 
but it, it it's it's a little too it's too long of a focal range. I, I don't I don't like it. Um, another thing too is that in this bright light out here, it's really hard, really difficult to see if I'm in focus. There's no focus peaking uh, with these manual lenses, these old lenses. So, and I have no EVF. I have to go by the viewfinder, and that makes it really, really difficult to know if I'm actually in focus or not. With this lens, I found that up close shooting, not macro, but just close up shooting was much better. I tried it with the Yashinon and it just didn't quite do it for me. I couldn't get quite as close like I can with these. These are just beautiful photos with that Super Tacomar. As we come to the conclusion of today's video, please down below in the comment section, say which one you prefer more. Do you like the Yashinon or do you like the Super Tacomar? Me personally, I like the Super Tacomar. And you know, hey, this Olympus PL10 did a fantastic job with these lenses. The color science on that camera just surprises me every time I use it. But anyway, hit that like, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and I will see you in the next video.